All right, welcome back to the French Revolution. One more time here. This is 1793, the great year of the terror. Maybe not so great if you were a Frenchman or if you were contemplating going against the government. If you're for the government, everything's fine. If you're against it, bad things could be happening for you. There is a new dominant group of men. The Committee of Public Safety, their job is to run the war effort. They are 12 men. There's a great book written about them called The Twelve Who Ruled and the evil things that they do. And are they evil? Are they all evil? Are they, were they under control of a dictatorship? What they're set to do is to control the entire nation for the war as they're being attacked in all directions. They are to control production. Every sort of factory will be used now to make war equipment. They have to organize armies. And again, they have every direction to fight. They have to fight the Spanish in the south, the Italians in the south, the British on the coast, the Germans along the Rhine. You need armies. They'll, they'll organize about six or seven different armies in all directions. Again, France used to have just one army. You've got seven now. They will be masters of propaganda. This is a new age. You don't fight for a king anymore. You're not some dirt farmer who joined the army just so you can escape the farm. You're joining to save France, and they make this known to you. There's propaganda. There's songs created by the government. Um, everyone singing and everyone joyous that you're creating a new world. You're saving France. They're also in charge, in charge of law and order, back behind the lines, back in the homes and the villages. They'll be the ones in charge of law and order. Anyone going against the war effort will be suspected and arrested. They'll start with arrest, and as the prisons begin to fill up, they'll start to expedite the judgments on these people. So if you don't want to be a suspect, you need to be leading the war effort, or else you'll be suspected. So it's best to join in and cheer and sing the songs and fight to defend the French Revolution. Um, as far as the war effort goes, they will assign generals for the armies, and the generals will also be accompanied by representatives on mission, men sent from the committee to watch over things. As far as watching the armies go, they'll make sure that the generals are fighting as hard as they can. And then within France, you'll also see representat representatives on mission inside of France kind of checking on things. And they'll be the ones watching over the tribunals, setting up and watching tribunals as they put the suspects on trial. And again, the executions start slowly. And if the war effort goes badly, then you'll start seeing the, the executions pick up. Thousands of people executed during the year of the terror in France, all over France. Um, again, the French armies, you've got about six of them now all over France. Half a million men split into six armies. This is just unbelievable. No country's ever done warfare like this before. In the army, they actually get to vote for their NCOs. This is new. You'll be led by a man that you trust and vote for. You see a lot of nationalism. You defend the revolution. France is absolutely correct. You killed one king. Let's go kill some more. A lot of propaganda. Uh, promotions. How do you move up in the army? Well, it used to be you had to buy your commission from the government. No. Nowadays, when you fight in a battle, the men will appoint the, the bravest among them, and he will be moved up. And you will be moving up the ranks because there's a lot of violence, and the man in front of you gets killed, and we need somebody to move up. You could be moving up several ranks in each battle. What happens in France is amazing. You will see the arrival now of some talented generals as they work their way to the top. You, ended, you started off the war with noble-like generals who didn't fight very well because they fought by the old school. These men, these new generals, will be young, up through the ranks, proving themselves at every battle. And again, you cannot retreat. If you retreat, you know, you're, there'll, be, there'll be a representative on mission there to make sure that you're executed for, for cowardice. So you must never retreat. Attack, attack, attack are the orders. And again, you have to be at the front lines. You have to lead from the front, command from the front. You cannot order men to their deaths unless you're willing to die yourself. And so you'll see a lot of these guys. There's actually 20 or 30 of them rising to the top. These very brave generals. I do want to mention that General Bonaparte is one of them. He will become a general during this time. But you would not be thinking of him as a dictator. He's not even really French. There were several other men that were touted to eventually become dictators of France. Turning back to the home front, the terror, well, the Committee of Public Safety is organizing this, and they actually use the word terror. This is their word, not because they want to inflict terror, but because 
It's, they want to scare the suspects. They will have a law of suspects that if you break any kind of law, that uh, if you can't prove that you're a good citizen, then you're obviously suspect. New laws of the maximum. That refers to prices. They will set maximum prices. During warfare, people tend to jack the price up. Well, if you do that, you'll be arrested because you're hurting France. You're hurting the French people. So they will establish a law of the maximum. Maximum prices, maximum wages. The Jacobin Club. They will work closely with the Committee of Public Safety. The Committee of, Committee of Public Safety can't reach every nook and cranny, but every town will have a Jacobin Club, and they will be the ones enforcing the national laws and the Committee of Public Safety. You'll have tribunals working, and eventually the tribunals will reach a point where evidence won't be needed. If you're simply pointed as a suspect, that's good enough to be executed. Guillotines in every town, the symbol of the French Revolution. And again, this would have been a symbol of terror. Also, the tribunal. If you're called before a tribunal, there's very little chance of you escaping. The razor of the republic, the guillotine, chopping heads. And again, the numbers here we're talking about in the thousands. Maybe 10,000 by the end of this, maybe 20,000. Um, so we're not talking in the hundreds of thousands. They can't do it. It's not, it's not that efficient. But they are working in that direction.